Hey guys, Silent Sia here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Even though the announcement of Uta Macross final <laughs> last two months has been announced, um, we shouldn't feel too down. I, I, I am still feeling a bit of the impact, <laughs> but still, let's keep our spirits up. Enjoy the game for its last two months, and let's take a look at what Dana has actually set um, ahead to what we can actually do within the next two months itself. So if you guys actually loaded up the game after the um, maintenance and update, you probably will have seen this load screen uh, before going into the main page of Wutan Macross itself. Alright, so the top left hand side basically is just announcing the Oshare Macross um, collaboration with Wutan Macross Finale. Uh, if you know <laughs> beforehand, I really announced um, on my Instagram account before when Oshare Macross um, collaboration with Utah Macross was first announced, Finale was not in the, the banner itself. It's only after they announced that Utah Macross was closing up that Finale was added to the promotional banners. So it's kind of a, a big drop on us. <laughs> but anyways, two days ago, or rather yesterday, um, on the 28th of April the collaboration event actually happened so yeah Japan fans have actually been to the event and have bought up some of the merchandises already even up to today lots of stuff have been selling out very quickly mainly because a lot of time across merchandise has now become sentimental to all the players who have actually played the game um, so yeah speaking of sentimental value uh, before we begin with the rest of the information, I would like to um, extend help from you guys uh, Especially for those who have been following me this uh, throughout this game for the last four years um, It's time to put together our accounts and all the stuff we have collected in the past four years uh, while playing with time across together kind of like a history memorial Basically, so um, I'm gonna go through what I basically can keep within my account itself, like basically all the animation sequences for each of the songs, then maybe even considering the uh, possibility of collecting all the episode plate illustrations. Only those, uh, technically, they are exclusive to Uta Macross. Um, episode plates with scenes taken from the TV series, the OVAs, the movies, I probably would not keep because um, there's really no reason for it. So only Uta Macross exclusive release illustrations probably uh, I'll try to gather an archiving of all the illustrations only from the players itself. I will not be getting any illustration images from any websites because sometimes um, a lot of these illustrations that I gain from the websites might be gotten illegitimately um, by data mining and all that kind of stuff so I will not be gathering it from those sources I will only want to get it from players as yourself who have actually played the game um, so yeah even if your devices are maybe the tablets and all that the, the ratio for the images might be a bit different, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm extending, you know, seeking help from you guys. So there are a lot of costumes I myself have yet to personally obtain, especially those 7 star episode plate costumes. So it's going to be a bit difficult, <laughs> especially if we want to archive the voice acting that was done for those 7 star episode plates. Yes, you did, if you didn't know, 7 star episode plates actually came with voice acting episodes. So they, the plates actually came with stories and voice acted by the diva seiyus themselves. So yeah, that's something we're going to try and archive as well, so hopefully with you guys' help, we will be able to archive as much as we can for Old Time Across. Um, of course, if we can actually extract the illustration images from the Old Time Across wiki page before it goes down as well, that would probably be a much easier way. 
uh, you know, rather than extracting the images from the game account itself. Okay, so with that seek of health <laughs> announcement done, let's talk about um, the rest of the image from this load bar, load screen. So on the top right hand corner, basically they are announcing the special gachas they're going to release. So from tomorrow, I think tomorrow is actually the 1st of May. How many days does April have? Oh, there's actually 30 days in April, so 2 days time. So yeah, so hopefully you guys um, are able to watch this video before the server resets today technically. Um, especially for one other manner. So if you guys actually watched it be uh, after the server resets today, uh, I apologize beforehand. I couldn't release this video a little bit earlier. I had a lot of stuff going on uh, today. So yeah, it's been a busy day. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're talking about the special gachas that they um, they are planning to launch. So from the first of May to the last day of the event, uh, basically the last day of the game, the 28th of June, um, five star appearance guaranteed gachas are coming out. So I guess um, this is probably the time to try and get all those missing seven star episode play costumes. Um, wait, it says five star and above, right? So technically it is possible to pull out six star episode plates. So yeah, but still 5 star and above, it's, it's a bit of a stretch, but there is a possibility. Anyways, then of course from the 17th of May to the 26th, um, we are getting the first year's worth of episode plates, which is 10 free plate gacha pools. Hmm. Then of course, after that the 27th to the 5th of June, we're getting the second year stuff. So yeah, template free gacha pools. So I guess this is really Dana's way to thank the fans for playing for so many years. Basically it's just giving us the chance to try and attain as many of the missing episode plates we can. You know, maybe if we want to archive basically. I think they already thought about it. The fans would definitely want to try and keep some kind of memorial for the game, especially for us who have been so passionately playing this game throughout the years. Alright, so bottom left hand side basically is what the events are, or rather basically what you can do within Utah Macross um, during this time period. So um, the first two is basically the um, same time period from the 28th of um, April, which is yesterday, uh, to the 28th of June, which is the last day of the, the game itself. You can use more skip tickets and of course the amount of experience you get for your rank um, is easier to attain as well. So that's one thing. <laughs> so you know there are special episode plays that are given through Uta rank as well. Um, it's probably time to try and do your best to get your best high score, unlock all those special episode plays, get the illustrations for those episode plates and build up the archiving basically that's what they are trying to do here all right so um then of course the 29th to 28th is basically all the repeat events that are going to happen uh so yeah we've already started with the very first one i mean it's it's good that we get to play repeat events especially for new players who really didn't have the chance to attain um, episode plates from the first two years maybe uh, or even up to recently if you guys just started I feel your pain when you're about to start enjoying the game and here it is that the game is announced to be closing up I feel your pain <laughs> anyway um, okay so the last one is what we really really want to pay attention to which is the uh, start on the 1st of May to the 4th of April, sorry, 4th of June, um, the resurfacing of April full events, which is really, really important for archiving because it's only during this period that you can actually do any recording or archiving of April full events, especially since the first few events are all based off songs. You have to play the song, you know, that kind of stuff. And then there's the special live sequence, um, the very first one being Hayate's uh, Sick Freak 
you know, dancing to Rumpika. Um, then of course, there is a few special other ones where like Macross 7's April Fool event and Macross Frontier's April Fool events where the music notes are changed to Guvava and Osancho-san. So those are the stuff that we are very particular that you need to archive because those are kind of like limited edition events and sadly to say, with the game closing, you won't get to see all this uh, playful events anymore uh, until maybe um, Macross decides to release another brand new music game. <laughs> Who knows? So yeah, anyway, then of course the last bottom right side is just announcing the Miss Macross contents, uh, contest. So we've talked about it in the um, update video for the closure of the game. Basically, it's just all four Macross series having events for their own series. So, yeah. Okay, so moving along. Um, speaking of Uta Macross collaboration with Oshare Macross. Um, first things first, thank you to all the Twitter friends as usual for all the photos on the event itself. Sadly for us international fans who aren't living within Japan itself, we are not able to uh, go and you know have fun at the events, purchasing the goods itself. So all we have is the photos from the fans from Japan. And yes, thank them so much for all the photos. じゃあ、日本の友達にTwitterに突然特別に。So without them basically my cross fans outside of Japan really have no idea what is going on with the events itself. So yeah, so I'm really really jealous that they actually have that very long tapestry of the special episode plates that you usually get from the Uthar rank rewards. So it's the whole amount of episode plates joined together. I really wish I could own that <laughs> but sadly to say I guess if you really want to gain something from events like this nowadays, you have to probably go through the second-hand market in Japan and buy at a higher price. Oh well. Um, so yeah, anyways, aside of that, today is Ranka's birthday. Yes, my waifu is celebrating her birthday today, so happy birthday, Ranka. But sadly to say, um, you know, since the game is going to close, initially I was going to you know, purchase singing stones to actually pull my waifu's birthday gacha. But since the game is closing, I guess it's just not the right thing to do anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, what's, there's no reason for you to toss in money into the game anymore. Uh, considering there's only two months left, and I don't think it's financially uh, ideal to do so. So yeah, speaking of which, there's one other thing that you need to do, that's why I apologize earlier if you didn't manage to watch this video earlier. Which is, I'm sure if you guys have known by now, the Uta Maku Pass, or rather which is updated to be known as the Special Pass right now. So as you can see here guys, I still have one day left remaining from my subscription. If you guys have subscribed to the Uta Maku Pass or Special Pass, make sure you cancel your subscription by today um, or whichever time before your subscription is renewed you do not want to be charged for another month of the subscription you know considering that the game is ending there is really no reason for you to continue this subscription anymore so it's kind of a bummer considering that i'm technically just 39 days away from another rare up star but you know that's basically another month or so you know, of subscription before a rare up star. Um, so yeah, with the game closing, I mean, you know, there's no doubt about it. There's really no reason why you should continue your subscription. So yes, this is very important. Please make sure you cancel your subscription before the game uh, resets today, uh, or rather before they actually charge your account for the subscription itself. You know, be it your on the Google Play Store or even on the 
Apple's iTunes Store. Make sure you go cancel that subscription、um, as soon as possible. All right. So, with that said, then there is the other brand new load bar. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen it by now,、um, which is this、um, costume ticket login bonus. So yeah, Dana hasn't really given up, you know, trying to reward the players for four years of playing. So basically, now they are giving out、uh, costume tickets, basically to exchange in the Chaos Exchange page. So let's let's dive into the. Um, the menu section and take a look at the chaos exchange page here. So yeah. All right. So as you can see, we have this brand new tab, and of course they have costume point episode plates、um, that you can actually exchange for costume points. So if you have yet to unlock、um, costumes for these divas, sadly to say, I don't really see. All the important costumes, which is all the six star and seven star episode play costumes, mostly in the New Year's or rather the holiday event costumes. So if you've yet to unlock any of these costumes,、um, if you have no idea which one you have yet to unlock, make sure you go check your、uh, Utahime page.、Um, check which costumes have not been highlighted. So if you have no idea what I mean, let's take a look at the Utahime page.、Uh, check the episode list. And of course, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of costumes that I've yet to unlock. So, and that's not even including the seven star episode plates, which are not even here because you can't even get costume points to see the shaded、uh, listing、um, for seven star episode plates because the only way you can gain episode、um, points or rather, yeah, costume points. Uh, is by attaining the episode play, so, so yeah. Make sure you guys go unlock all these costumes. Then, of course, if you if you need or、uh, you know to archive this stuff by helping me,、um, you know, that's that's basically what we are trying to do right now. We're just gonna unlock everything, especially with、um, episode ops. You know, I've been storing somewhat of a amount, so I should be able to unlock. All the costumes that I have on hand right now, hopefully, hopefully, of course, you might want to prioritize、um, using the episode ops just on costumes that you can't unlock、um, through the trading of the episode points here,、uh, here in the chaos exchange.、Um, you know, so make sure you check out which costumes are here and which ones you can actually use. Utilize to unlock the costumes before you, you know, spend your episode ops to unlock the other costumes itself. Speaking of chaos exchange, it's time to use up all your points for everything here. I was wondering why they didn't create new decor items to unlock. As you can tell, I have a lot of decor coins here <laughs> not being used. So apparently, that was a sign that the game was about to end.、Uh, there were a few signs. Um, that I noticed, but it's just that I didn't really take heed of it, and that's why it, the news dropping、uh, of the game closure was a really big bomb towards me, because <laughs> I was just blinded by the truth. I I was choosing not to accept it. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Then of course there's the super dimension medals that you can use to unlock as well. Make sure you spend it. Um, of course, these episode plates have points for costumes as well. Make sure you do so.、Um, spend them. I don't think there's a reason to archive all this, right? Because、um, a lot of people don't really pay attention too much to the decor room. So it's mainly the episode plates, the actual 3D、um, designs of the costumes and the divas itself. And of course, don't forget to claim all your zodiac medal rewards. Okay, the episode plates in here as well do give costume points or Valkyrie points technically. So yeah, make sure you do that. And of course, last but not least, if you guys have, you know, um, fragments for the rare star, secret stones, you know, all these can actually help you gain more points for costumes, Valkyries, background illustrations, that kind of stuff. All this is very very important for archiving.、Uh, if you're planning to help help me, help us the community, 
you know, to catalog everything for Uta Macross. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and do all this. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it for all the exchanging. Uh, so let's talk about missions. So um, if you guys aren't up to date with me, basically I've announced on Instagram yesterday when it was Ranka's birthday eve, they have all the usual birthday gifts. You know, you know, the nice birthday cake for each of the individual divas, the Kawawa dolls which you need to unlock potentials, um, and even the alternate costume designs. Yes, speaking of alternate costume designs, so I've yet to actually power up any of my costumes for all the alternate color designs. As you can see, well, it is time. It is time to do so to archive everything. So yes. So slowly, bit by bit, um, after next week, I'm planning to start next week. Um, probably like maybe each day I'll upload a video, including if I'm planning to do other things as well. Like um, if you guys have following me, you know that I'm trying to dabble into Digimon the card game right now. So alongside what other extra contents I'm doing, I'm going to slowly upload all the archiving of the time I cross onto my channel. For history purposes, um, definitely a lot of the content, especially the live performances, will be copyright strike. So if you guys appreciate all the contents for the archiving of Uta Macross, make sure you subscribe to the channel, help me um, try to push my YouTubing towards a full-time thing so I can do things a lot more properly for whatever future games Macross or whatever series that I'm in love with to uh, that comes out um, you know I, I just want to put out my passion for a game or a series uh, wholeheartedly I don't want like other uh, you know fulfilling jobs I guess if I had to do a full-time job it's gonna definitely hinder the amount of times that I can spend on my channel itself um, definitely being a full-time youtuber would benefit me greatly um, if it's possible yeah so <laughs> and of course make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where I also update stuff um, but like I mentioned in the last video I probably might do um, make cross information videos in the future just like today and I mentioned about the Oshari make cross um, uh, collaboration with Uta make cross finale in this video so it will be somewhat like that um, just talking briefly you know keep keeping you guys up to date within what is going on within the macross franchise itself uh probably with more details in the future because right now i can't give full tension span to it, the, the updates of things because um financially it's not uh, stable right now you know because <laughs> looking for a job again and uh, <laughs> trying to upload content is a bit tough. Alright, um, what else is there to mention regarding things that you should probably need to do? Oh yes, make sure you guys claim all the rewards and then your present box as well. Um, you know, skip tickets that you have not used like I have here. I have like 30 tickets since the last time. The last time they had an error, I have, I have not used as much as I would like to. But it's time to use up, you know, and of course, there's all the energy atters. Look at that! All the wasted energy atters! Oh my goodness. And then, of course, there are a lot of stuff. If you take a look at all the items in your item listing, you know, all these are going to go to waste. So, like, make sure you utilize everything. Uh, the cow dolls, the tickets, the skip tickets, the fragments. Um, then, of course... Yeah, this is very important as life token, especially for those who are trying to archive all the the songs itself. So yeah, that's whew, that's a lot of stuff to try and take note of, especially when you want to archive. It's a lot of work. <laughs> um, yeah, the decor stuff probably not so important anymore. I guess the affection level of your divas aren't as important unless you're still trying to hit the high score to unlock all the. Um, special release episode place in Uta Rank. So yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Gacha right now. So there's one other thing you need to do 
before the game ends and that is if you are planning to help archive the game you're gonna have to want to pull all the super dimension gacha tickets um, that you have on hand because these tickets are at least a chance for you to try and attain some of the 6 and 7 star episode plates out there so definitely and of course not forgetting the guaranteed 5 star service gacha uh, speaking of guaranteed 5 star uh, service gacha tickets the, that's one of the main reasons why you should play Uta Macross still within the next two months because if you guys actually seen the rewards um, for the event itself and you go into the mission page here you notice that they actually gave you a guaranteed 5 star gacha ticket you know aside from the regular rewards there is no more event gacha tickets because they're not releasing any more brand new um, featured gachas you know they're all gonna release old stuff just for the next two months so it's just a time period where you use your singing stones to try and gain old episode plates um, that's missing from the collection so yeah that's what you know what the remaining singing stones you have on hand are going to do so if you let's say for example you're missing Min Mei's costume here uh, like I am <laughs> I have no costume points for Min Mei so I probably might use the missing or rather the leftover singing stones on this or maybe if you want to try and pull Ranka's birthday gacha um, that is one thing you can do as well you know, just take note of when the gachas expiring like Min Mei's and Basara's are gonna disappear tomorrow on the 1st of May no not, not, not tomorrow I mean two days time technically um, so then of course you know don't forget to pull the free daily pulls uh, even though they are pretty common episode plates they might give you something nice you, know, you might be lucky maybe the last two months of Utah Macross you might pull out five star episode plates <laughs> who knows you know so yeah guys that's pretty much it on what you should technically be doing uh, or you could do within the last two months of Utah Macross hopefully all this is pretty informative towards you guys I know it's a bit draggy I know the, the mood is up and down you know, <laughs> it's a lot to consider, a lot of emotions to go through, uh, especially for me as a YouTuber who has really been thriving off Uta Macross for the last four years. Um, I'm sure you probably guys notice that most of my other contents on my channel barely get as many views as Uta Macross content. And if you want true honesty, I, I'm pretty surprised within the last few days since the, the announcement video that Utah Macross is closing. I lost two followers on Instagram, but I gained five subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys for subscribing on to the YouTube channel. Uh, I can understand why some of you guys unfollowed me on Instagram because probably you guys are only following me for Utah Macross content. And now that Utah Macross is gone, there's no reason to follow me anymore. But you know, for those of you who are just Macross fans, you know that Utah Macross is not just the only thing that I do. I do talk about Utah, um, you know, Macross content stuff as well on Instagram. It's just that I don't do that on the YouTube channel. But eventually, I will be doing it on both Instagram and YouTube, considering that now Utah Macross is out the window. Oh, it's really heartbreaking to say it <laughs> you know guys thank you so much for the awesome four years this is not the last video for time i cross of course if eventually um if i do gacha pools again like if i plan to you know do my entire ticket pool for super dimension gacha i will upload it as an individual video you know it's not the end of time i cross yet there's still all those archiving videos that i'll be releasing over the next two months so guys i need your help if you want to help out in the archiving of Uta Macross on my youtube channel make sure you let me know in the comment section of this video or even on um instagram when i upload the thumbnail for this particular video you can let me know in the comment section you can pm me um on instagram as well you know if you want to, to you, you want to help you know that kind of stuff 
Um, of course, there's certain standards of recording and archiving those clips, videos, you know, costume designs. Um, I'll probably guide you through if you're willing to uh, help me out and help the community out to collect everything that is Utah Macross. Anyway, guys, until then, happy gaming while it still lasts, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!